Hi everyone, in this lecture we will be talking about the set functions. Set functions are one of the most commonly used functions with the order by clause. Set functions compute new values from, e from column values and they use a set function in place of one of the columns in the select clause and pass the column name that the function has to be applied on to the function itself. Set functions are often used with the distinct qualifier. So the common set functions, the set functions that we will be looking at are the count, the max, the min, and the AVG, and the sum. So I'm going to give you examples for all of them, hopefully by the end of this lecture, if it is not going to get any long. So we are going to start with the count function, and as we go over the example, I'm going to explain to you what it does. So first one is going to be the count uh, set function, and I'm going to, just going to pass it here. Now, the count set function, it is going to return the number of rows per, for a particular column. Now, there are two cases here. If you pass in a star inside this count function, then uh, it is going to include null values for records as well. So let's say like the phone number that had null inside of it. It is going to count those as well. But if you pass in any specific column name, null values will not be included. So let's take a look at it in action. So I'm going to say select. We know that we are going to use the set function in, 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 like in the place or like as a replacement for any uh, where we write the column name for the select clause. So where do we write the column name? We write it right here. So I'm just going to write the count. And I'm going to pass in, uh, for, for, uh, uh, for the first example, I'm just going to pass in star. And then the what column uh, do we want this to be applied in? Then let's just go ahead. For now, I'm just going to grab the employees table. So I'm going to say from employees, employees. There we go. So let's save that. Let's take a look at what this is going to return to us. So it returns, it did return to us 40. And where is, the, where is it getting that number from? So what it means is there are 40 rows within this column, within, sorry, within this table. So each column has 40 rows. It, it included the null values as well. The reason for that is we use the star. But if you use any specific column name, it is not going to include those. For example, let me just grab that. Let me come down here. Let us uh, comment that part out. And let's say 37. Now, let's say I alias this as E, and then I grab E dot uh, phone number. So phone number, save that, let's run it, and you see that we got 34. Where are the rest of the six columns that we just got from this count? The reason that it did not include those six, six columns were because they're, they're null. That's why it doesn't include it. Whenever you grab any column name, specific column name, and you pass it within this count, it is not going to include null. Otherwise, it will include null. We can use this count or set function with the, uh, we can use it with the where clause as well. So I'm just going to say example 37. Let's come down. Let's comment this part out. This is going to be example 38. So what if we want to grab the first name? So I'm going to say first name from this table where, where um, e dot salary e dot salary is greater than oops greater than one thousand. Oh, sorry, ten thousand. So let's save that. Let's terminate this statement. Why did I not terminate these statements? We need to terminate them. Okay, let's run that. And we've got an error. Sala, oh, salary. Let's save that. Let's run it again. We got nine columns. So what it actually did, what it actually did was it went into the salaries table and it looked for salaries which were greater than 10,000. 
uh, for, for rows which had the salary greater than 10,000. And then it counted them and returned the count, which is nine. We can, for example, take the take a look at the salary as well that we have, like salary. Let's just uh, save this from the employees. Let me just uh, grab grab it from there and comment and remove it from there. Oh, I need to put it outside the the count function. So I'm going to say e dot salary. But you have to keep this in mind that this is not going to return the salary first. It is just going to go ahead and count all the salaries which are above ten thousand, and it is going to return. It is how many thousands? It is twenty four thousand. So 24,000 should be the highest salary that we have. Now you might be wondering why we provided first name. The reason for that is we asked this query to go into the employees table, grab all the salaries which are greater than 10,000 and count how many first names there are. Now, why is this different than let's say you would you could have passed in anything else here? The reason for that is what if any of these first names they are null then they're not going to be included within the count so uh, if i just go ahead and order these salaries let's click on it you can see that the highest one is twenty four thousand. and let me just grab this belongs to stephen king uh we could just go ahead and grab it and um uh come on buddy i'm just gonna say uh we could delete this or we could set it to null okay let me just right click why isn't it working come on so set field to null now you can see that it is null so i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to save it so i'm going to close this hopefully we can save it there is no foreign key relationship here this is the uh syntax that we could use to write here there we go now if i run this it theoretically it should return only eight if i run it you can see that you have an error in your SQL syntax. We have count first name, uh, salary, e dot salary, uh, employees e. Let's run it again. There we go. So technically, it returned eight. Even though the highest salary belonged to that ninth per person that I just removed, that I just set to null, but it returned only eight of them because we have specified the column name here. So that's all about the uh, count function. I did uh, dedicate a lot more time than I expected, than I decided or I, I had planned. So I'm just going to copy that down below. Uh, let me just comment this part out. The rest of them are going to be easier than this. Oh, I need to convert this to with nine. The next one is going to be max. Now, max, what it does is it, it gives, okay, where am I? Right here. It gives the maximum value for a particular column. It requires the column name to be passed in, and it doesn't include any null values. So how does this actually work? Now, how can we modify this? I'm going to convert this uh, count to max, and I'm going to say e.salary. So salary, let me come and cut, cut this part from employees, and I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, this clause that we have here so it should return the maximum salary which we know 24,000 right there we go it is max e dot salary 24,000 the man is going to do the complete opposite of this it is going to return the minimum value for a column and null is not going to be a part of it so man it is 40 so e dot let's just say man Let's save that let's comment this part out save it run it so the minimum salary if you want to find out or extract from your database what is the minimum salary of one of your of your employees it is 2500 then we are going to talk about the average now the average and the sum functions the final two they are not going to work on any column except that it is numeric so the count max and min they work on numeric columns they work on uh, like textual columns or character uh, like varying character columns but these columns these two only work on numeric columns so you need to keep that in mind as well 
The average, it is going to give us the average value for a particular column. It, it, it requires the column name to be passed in, and it doesn't include uh, any null values. So, how does it actually work? We got, this is men. I'm just going to copy this, comment this part out. Just come down here, put it there, and there we go. So, this is going to be example 41 and it is average it is just going to give us the average so which column do we want to grab the average for example we want to grab the average salary of our employee uh, employees so i'm just going to pass in a v g there we go let's save that let's run it so the average salary of our all of our employees is 8060 there we go now you can see that we have a lot of decimal points and now we do have uh, another function that we can use and that is going to round this figure up for us so i'm going to say example number 42 and i'm just going to pass in a parenthesis there one there and i'm going to say round well not lowercase it's python habit uppercase so we just grab this value and we put it inside the round function and it is going to round it up for us so let let us run this you can see it is 8060 and moving on to our final uh, set function in this lecture uh, which is sum so let's go ahead and take a look at it up this is the function it is going to uh, sum all the values for a particular column and as usual we are going to pass in the column name now again this is not going to include null and you cannot pass in any other column except the integer type it has to be an integer an integer column otherwise it's not going to work so let me copy that let us comment this part out coming down here so instead of uh we we have here round and uh, avg i'm just going to get rid of this and i'm going to say sum so we need to pass in a numeric column let me get a, get rid of that so we have avg i'm going to say sum e dot salary that's very simple let's run it so the uh like let's say if you say that that salary was a per on on a per month basis we have a lot of employees a lot of very high paying employees so the maximum salary that we pay to our employees are 322 400 so 322 400 that's it for this lecture see you in the next one